We're no longer in hospital. That means pickups for May and June. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the channel, I'm Retro Skelly and I hope you're all well. So as the intro said, this is a pickups video for both May and June. And um, those of you that have been following my channel know that I've been in hospital for the past eight weeks. So um, I've had very little chance to actually look at this stuff myself. So um, we'll be looking at it together for the first time. Um, the boxes I've opened or sliced the sellotape just to make it easier on the video. Uh, nobody wants to sit here and watch me open up boxes and slice my finger with a Stanley knife. Um, so that's all been done. So let's crack on with the video and see what we've got. <laughs> first things first, guys, I think we'll crack on with the hardware. There's one particular um, box that um, I want to get to because um, I've got something special to say about that. So. Um, Right, the first item, which was an eBay purchase, is um, this box, Atari 2600 Woody. Um, I mean, obviously the box it looks like it's seen their, you know, sort of better days. Um, but I mean, how old's this? 40 years old? I mean, this is nearly as old as I am. So, um, you know, what can you expect? Um, so let's see what we've got inside the box. So, first bit of the bubble wrap. We have joystick, uh, two joysticks. See, uh, yeah, they seem really good. A bit more clicky on that one. Yeah, not too bad at all. What else have we got? So the console itself, looks in really good condition actually. I'm really pleased with that. So um, I never had one of these when I was a kid, but um, I kind of decided my I'm going to aim my collection at sort of like what I would consider the mainstream consoles. Um, so you, you, the most common Sega, Nintendo. I'm not going to bother with like things like the CDI and all those sort of um, strange ones. Um, I, I'm too late in the game for collecting for those, I think. But um, I was quite keen to get this when I saw it on eBay. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. It looks in really good condition. So that's one side. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, okay, yep, yeah, just a generic power supply. Obviously, it's not the original one that came with it. It's a multi-function one, but yeah, I'm sure it does the job. So yeah, that's really good. Um, this also came with a white box here. I'm hoping this might be a few games. So what do we have here? Yes, uh, Pac-Man. That really stunning looking Pac-Man on the uh, Atari 2600. Um, you know it's not a very good game or not a very good port. Um, those of you that have seen it, but you know, it is what it is. We've also got Frogger. Donkey Kong. And last, but certainly... Yeah, last, Space Invaders. So that's really cool. And so, yeah, like I said, that was an eBay pickup. I believe I paid 50, 60 pounds maybe for it. Um, but I'm, I'm really pleased with that. The console looks in really good condition. So um, yeah, really chuffed by that. So let me pop all that to one side. Right, next one, right, this box. Um, I, I got to set out and pay, say a huge, huge, huge thank you for Ali Ali, 16 bits and bobs. Um, I was on wasting time in hospital on eBay, searching around, and there was a um, particular bundle um, that was up for sale. I think the starting bid was £50. I put £50 in thinking not in a million years would I win it. I left it and left it and then I scrolled down and I saw that it was um, collection only. So I got in touch with the seller and said, you know, is there any, if I arrange it all myself, I'll arrange the courier to come down and collect it. Would you mind boxing it up? And, and he, he wasn't having any of it. He said, no, no, it's collection only, um, end of. And it was collection in London. So um, 
I, I in a WhatsApp group with a few of the guys um, and I just put it out there because I knew a few were sort of based London sort of way, just put it out there and asked the question. And without hesitation, the legend that is Ali Ali just came jumping forward and said, yeah, no worries, mate, I can get that for you. Um, it turned out that actually the um, seller lived about 10 minutes away from his um, friend that he needed to visit anyway. Um, so Ali Ali, um, absolute legend, a huge, huge thank you. Um, picked the bits up, boxed it all up for me um, and shipped it to my home address. So, I mean, that's just amazing. And, um, you know, that's what this community is all about. People helping others. Um, so, look, guys, if you've never seen um, Ali Ali's channel, 16 Bits and Bobs, go check him out. Give him a sub. I'll leave a link to his um, channel in the description below. But, yeah, please go give him some love. So, what do we have in here? Um, so this, let's get through the bubble wrap, so we have a Sega Master System, looks in okay nick, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of dirt on there but nothing that wouldn't clean off, so yeah, Sega Master System. Next we have another well bubble wrapped uh, parcel. Oh as well, I should take it all out of the bubble wrap as well, no, but never mind. We also have Sega Saturn. Which again in okay Nick, it's um nothing again which wouldn't be cleaned up um know really well so uh yeah there we go really pleased with that so um sega saturn and the master system plus a couple of games the controllers and the leads and everything um was uh 50 pounds off ebay so um yeah quite pleased with that so the games that came with it uh this is look like it's a master system game So they went to town with a bubble, right? Uh, action Fighter. This one looks in really good condition, actually. Um, I'm not an uh, inbox, pristine, minty collector at all. Um, I'd be quite happy with cartridges. But for those of you that are, I know you're, you know the hang tab is quite important. Um, you know, I mean, this is like... Something like this would be like gold dust and dream for me. Um, cartridge and manual. Manual's worn, but I mean, it's for me, it's perfectly, perfectly, perfectly adequate. I've got no problem with manuals like that. Um, I'm not particularly what I'd call myself a collector. I'm probably more of a gamer. It's just, you know, I'm not bothered about it being pristine to, you know, for it to be worth money in years to come or anything like that. But uh, I know this game, it was played on Ollie's um, Master System Challenge um, a while ago. So I'm aware of this game. It was a really good game, quite difficult from what I remember, but it's great now that I've got an original cut that I can have a go with. Uh, what we've got here uh, looks like probably another Master System game. Yep, Super Kickoff. Again, looks in really good condition actually. A hang tab again. No manual on this one, but that's fine for me. Um, and cartridge, super kickoff, obviously. But like I said, you don't play the manual. You know, if I could pick one up at some point, fair enough. But um, yeah, it's not something that particularly bothers me. And last but not least, I think, Virtua Fighter for the Saturn. Again, box looks in good condition. Um, it's got a hang tab, but it's one of those sticky ones that the sh you would fit on as a sh from um, in the shop. So um, I will probably have to leave that on. Also, got a feeling it will just rip that cardboard. Let's see what it's like inside. Um, yeah, um, no manual um, discs here. Discs look in, in perfect condition. Um, again, I don't know if 
I'm not sure these came with manuals or not, but I'm sure they probably did. So again, if I can pick one up, I will. And um, it looks like there's a bit of damage to the box. Yeah, the um, there you go. Look, the plastic's come away from the cardboard. But again, I can fix that. A little bit of uh, glue and that'll come up fine. So yeah, Virtual Fighter. That's cool. Right, so. Um, in amongst, um, so that I think within a week of um, winning that um, on eBay, um, Chris, um, I can't remember his YouTube channel, so I will flash it up on the screen and you should see it any minute now. Um, and I will leave a link to it in um, the description. But yeah, Chris um, went on the swap shop um, and he showed a couple of items that I was interested in. And um, I knew he was really good friends with Ali Ali. Um, so I thought, well, if, you know, they could get together and there's room in the box, you could throw it all in together, save on shipping um, and hopefully um, save everybody a bit of hassle. So um, the item that uh, um, Chris had on the swap shop, here we go. Those of you that are watching might remember. It was a um, fat PS3. So these are the backward compatible ones. Um, so they're quite desirable. Unfortunately, this one doesn't work, um, which I'll see he um, told me on the, he mentioned it on the swap shop. Um, actually cost um, nothing because it doesn't work. He said free. Um, so that's obviously um, an absolutely stunning deal. So thank you very much. Um, so um, I was really keen on this because one of the things that I am keen on is um, I've got an interest in sort of um, amateur electronics. Um, it's not something that I've really got into massively, but it's something that really interests me. So um, I got this because I wanted to have a first crack at trying to fix um, a console. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, got nothing to lose. If it doesn't work already, you know, I didn't want to um, dabble around with anything and break it even further. So yeah, this will be ideal for that. So also in the box, um, there's a whole host of leads um, and the controllers for the mass system and the Saturn. I'm not gonna get them out. Um, leads are leads, controllers are controllers. I don't need to be um, going through that all in detail. So we'll move on to some of the other stuff. Right then, on to the next one. Um, again, this is another piece of hardware. This is something that I, um, I ordered, I think, um, before I went into hospital um, and then it arrived like day one or two after um, going into hospital. So, I mean, this has been sat here for a good eight weeks. So um, I knew it was here and I was quite excited to see it. Um, so those of you that have watched my last video will have seen my um, like my journey or my um, start into um, retro gaming and gaming. Um, and you'll know that it was all revolving around the Commodore 64. Now, um, again, some of the guys that you possibly um, follow, you'll know that they're into their homebrew scene. Um, and um, I've kind of um, followed suit and really do like my um, homebrew games, which means that some of them um, you can buy on the old um, floppy disks. Obviously meant I needed a disk drive and this is exactly what I've got here. So um, as you can see, there we go, it's the Commodore um, Power Pack. Um, obviously uh, Euro plug, but um, I could do something about that or get a converter, it's fine, no problem. And then here is the gist drive itself. So um, yeah, the 1541 um, the Model 2, by the things. Again, it looks in really good nick. That is obviously um, exactly how it should be in terms of, yeah, that's got a really good feel to it. Um, yeah, so, you know, hopefully it'll work. And um, we'll test it out, obviously, um, when we get some floppy disks for the Commodore 64. But yeah, really pleased by that. Right, what else have we got here? So on to now, I think the rest now might be games. So um, this is just a single item. Again, I saw this on eBay. Um, and just um, sort of really took my fancy. So I've got a um, real passion um, about big box games, um, just the artwork, um, 
just they just look really really cool yes they take up loads of space but um i come from a pc background mainly um i just remember the big box pc games um they just felt like you were getting something really worth the money um like i said amazing artwork good quality um so i got a bit of an interest in getting some big box games maybe for just decorative reasons you know once finally this games room's done um and just for some display pieces and of course um other systems than the pc also have big box games the amiga commodore 64 etc etc so this one is one that i picked up off ebay uh the all-time classic platoon on the commodore 64 the ocean title box isn't in great condition i don't know if you can see that all the sellotape around the bottom i may or may not try and do something about that and it's a little bit creased and obviously broken at the top there but you know it could all be repairable but it's about this artwork on the front mainly that i wanted to um get the box inside what have we got inside so uh a couple of uh a couple of booklets manuals etc and guides again a bit of pen on the um front you know we all did this probably when we were kids like write down instructions and passwords for levels and um, codes and stuff but you know there we go and then um, the Commodore 64 platoon tape yeah nothing else to see there but um, yeah again like I said it's a really nice display piece hopefully to uh, get in the games room and get it on some shelving all right the next item let's grab this one right so this is um another big box game um this was off of a uh, facebook group um again because it's big box display piece um it's the amiga sensible world of soccer i mean obviously an absolute classic title on uh, the amiga um I don't have an Amiga currently. It's something that I'm keeping my eye out for. I really, really am desperate to get a 1200 if I can, but they're quite expensive at the moment. Um, so if you're gonna shell out that sort of money, you obviously wanna make sure you're getting a good one that's been recapped and um, had all the um, all the necessary done to it really. But uh, yeah, let's have a look inside the box. So as you would expect, um, in really, really good condition lovely manual i mean that feels like it's never been opened to be honest that is in almost feels like in perfect condition that's lovely um the discs and i don't know what this is it looks like it oh uh advert for mouse maps you can tell a real supporter by his mouse mat so obviously only men enjoy football no females because uh it's his mouse mat but uh yeah i'm guessing this is obviously an original um advert so also, again we'll stay with the game that's brilliant and then there's um it looks like a card a uh, registration card for something so um yeah it's brilliant that's in really really good condition i'm really pleased with that Next one. Aha, uh -huh, right, here we go. So this was a bundle off of um, eBay. Can't remember how much I paid for it. Absolutely no idea. Um, but it is a bundle of Commodore 64 tapes. So this one here is Eagle, Empire and Guardian. I'm... Um, I'm fairly, you know, I, my knowledge of the Commodore 64 and its catalogue is not great. You know, I had one as a kid, but, um, you know, that was a long, long time ago. My memory isn't as good as it used to be. So if any of these titles um, are good, rubbish or any, anything else and you want to make, leave a comment, leave a comment below and let me know. So this one is um, Commodore, sorry, a Grand Prix simulator by Codemasters. Daily Thompson's Super Test Hit Squad. Right, down to the next layer. Slycons. 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 Right, 
raster scan. Looks like it's like a marble run type game. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, Cricket Captain by High Tech. Wizard's Pet. Oh, there's a load in here. Escape MCP. Can't even read that. Super Nudge 2000. It's obviously an arcade machine, fruit machine. Um, Simulator type thing. Scare Bear. I have to say, um, I haven't opened them and looked, but at the minute I've seen one case that's just got a bit of a crack on it. All the rest look in really good condition. So I'm really pleased about that. Shadow Skimmer. Looks like some sort of shoot em up. Cooler. Interesting one. Not sure what that was about. Lancer Lords. I can't even read that, guys. That's Psycho Hopper. Another load here, two seconds. Metronaut, Metronaut. Street Beat. So none of these games so far are ringing any bells with me in terms of what um, from when I owned one before. So these will all be new discoveries for me. So Cosmonaut. Cyclones again. But it looks like a different artwork on the front, actually. So I'm not sure it is exactly the same. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Monopole. Better get the glare off that, there we go. And then the last one. Shard of Innova. Again, looks quite an interesting game on the back. But yeah, these all look in absolutely wonderful condition i must say so um yeah really pleased with that bundle as well it's fantastic we're doing well so far um next bundle um i think it was an ebay one i'm very sorry if it was a swap shop or something else but um i've lost track to be honest these aren't particularly exciting i got this bundle for one reason and one reason only i think i only paid about a tenner for it so um i'll um, tell you in a second um so they were all ps2 games um PS2 Cubo, uh, yeah, manual and disc, so that's good. It most definitely wasn't for Britney's dance beat. No manual, um, not can't say I'm particularly bothered. And the CD in every PS2 bundle, there has to be a FIFA, FIFA 09. Manual on disc. LMA Manager 2006. Feels like it's got the manual, it's quite weighty. Yeah, manual and disc. Rugby 06. Again, yeah, manual and disc. So this is the game that I wanted it for. 
99% of you probably think it's an absolutely rubbish game and it all tends to purposes it probably is um but i just remember when i had a ps2 years and years ago i spent hours and hours and hours on this g1 jockey um i actually really quite enjoyed it yes i might be a side act but um i really enjoyed playing it so um when i saw it there um for a tenner with the other ones i thought why not um it's probably worth nowhere near a tenner in fact that whole bundle's probably nowhere near worth a tenner but um it is what it is. We'll blame the medication. Um, but yeah, that's that one for that bundle. And then the last item on the list is another um, boxed game for a display. Um, and this one looks in fantastic condition. And it is Stunt Car Racer on the Commodore 64. Look at that box art, eh? I think mean, that looks just superb. And I just like the idea of these being on shelves. I'm um, in the games room when it's done. Great display pieces. Let's see what's inside. So, beautiful manual. It looks like, again, it's hardly been opened. Um, unbelievable amount of... Uh, but, you know, it's giving me like that. It's, this is where manuals just weren't manuals. You know, it wasn't just like up, down, left, right, shoot or whatever. You know, they gave you, you know, look at that. A history of motor racing or motorsport. You know, you get a little bit of information in there. So, you know, something interesting to read. You know, it's great pictures. So that's, um, you know, that's really cool. Um, and then, obviously, the tape the tape isn't it there we go some other bits in there it looks like there's like um some like warranty cards information and stuff in there as well so then guys um that's it for the bundle um leave your thoughts and comments um in the section below um and if you like the video um again please consider um leaving me a like and uh, maybe even um click subscribe and the notification bell um, just so you get uh, notifications of any future content. Um, but that's it for me. So um, it's all only left for me to say, um, stay safe. I hope you keep well um, and I will catch you on the next video.